the third thing you need to remember with regard to provisional and complete specification is that you can downgrade an application to a provisional. So when we say downgrade, it's understood that the earlier filed application is a complete. But the law does not say it's a complete. It uses the word purported, which means that it may be a complete or it can be assumed to be a complete. Now, this happens because of the ability to downgrade it. When you say that I want this application to be treated as a provisional, then the assumption is that the earlier file is a complete because it's an assumption. And because now you want this to be called provisional, the word used in the act is that what is purporting to be a complete specification. Now, again, this provision is not available for a convention application or for PCT applications. As we know, a convention or a PCT application can only be filed with a complete. So if an complete is filed, it's a specification purporting to be a complete specification is filed, then the controller may allow at any time within 12 months to downgrade or what we say to treat. I mean, the act uses the word uh, direct that such specification shall be treated as a provisional. And it also gives the direction as to what happens after that. So the downgrading can be done within 12 months of filing the application. So you file an application. It could be a complete or it could be a purported complete. Purported complete is like, say, a complete without claim. So you file it as a provisional. Let us assume you file it as a provisional. Still, you can say that you want to downgrade it to a provisional or you want that to be treated as a provisional. The 12 months start again here in this case from the first disclosure. It does not give you any further time. Bear that in mind. When you make a first disclosure and then you want that disclosure to be treated as a provisional, this subsection that is 9.3 says that and proceed with the application accordingly. What does it mean? And proceed with the application accordingly means if now this is treated as a provisional, you have to file the complete within the 12 months. And when does the 12 months start? Not from the date of downgrading, but from the date on which the application was filed. Again, the 12 months that is given is from the date of filing the first disclosure. So one thing to remember in these sections is that the 12 months starts from the date of the first disclosure. So whenever the first disclosure is done, the 12 months start. So in this case, the purported was the first disclosure. So what essentially the law states, once you file a purported complete, within 12 months, you can downgrade it into a provisional and file a complete. So the complete has to be filed within the 12 months. Now, the fourth thing you should remember in section 9 is that you can cancel the provisional and post date the application. So there is a provision to cancel the provisional and to post date it. Section 9.4 states that now when a complete has been filed in pursuance of an application for a patent accompanied by a provisional, which is the normal case 9.1, or by a specification treated by virtue of a direction under subsection 3 as a provisional specification, which is the purported rule, which we just saw. So in these two scenarios, if something is filed under 9.1 or under 9.3, the controller may at any time before the grant of the patent, cancel the provisional application. So the provisional is cancelled and post date the application. The, the consequence of cancelling the provisional is that the priority that you got is lost. The priority is lost. When the controller cancels the provisional, the controller has to change the priority. So changing the priority is what we call post dating the application. It will be post dated to the date of filing the complete application. So there's only another date. So you have two filings here. First is the filing of a provisional and then the filing of the complete. So if the provisional is cancelled, then it is post dated to the date of filing the complete specification. How long can this post dating happen? The, if the complete has to be filed within 12 months, then the post dating should also happen within those 12 months. Now we have a case law on this. Standy Pack Private Limited versus Oswald Trading. And it is mentioned in our uh, Bar Act. We have, you find this case law in our Bar Act. So which says that post dating of the patent can only be done on the date of filing of the, only to the date of filing of the complete specification. So you cannot extend it. Post dating has to be within that timeline. 
These are the four things that you need to remember about section 9.